Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. As part of problems related to modulus of a variable, let us look at this example in this particular session. We have been given 2x plus 5 divided by 4x plus 7. with modulus and given that its value is equal to greater than or equal to 1. We have to solve for x value. How will we do this problem? Let us have a look at that. First what we will do? We will take the numerator denominator separately. Can we say that this is equal to modulus of 2x plus 5 divided by modulus of 4x plus 7 greater than or equal to 1. Then we will see where 2x plus 5 will be positive and negative. Similarly, where, where in which interval 4x plus 7 is positive or negative. For that, we will take the number line and try to divide that into 3 parts. Let us do that. So, we have minus infinity to infinity. Minus infinity to infinity. First, we will take the numerator 2x plus 5. That means, if it is a critical point, x equal to minus 5 by 2. 4x plus 7 is another critical point, x equal to minus 7 by 4. So, x equal to minus 5 by 2 and x equal to minus 7 by 4 are critical points which are given by 2x plus 5 equal to 0 and 4x plus 7 equal to 0. So, we will take the number line, we will divide that into 3 parts. So, the first part will start from minus infinity and it will go till minus 5 by 2. The next part will start from minus 5 by 2 and will go till minus 7 by 4 because 4x four plus 7 is 0, 4x is minus 7, x equal to minus 7 by 4. Now, let us see how our numerator and denominator behaves. If I take the interval less than minus 5 by 2, I know that 2x plus 5 will be negative. So, can I write down minus of 2x plus 5 divided by, now if 2x plus 5 is negative, let us take a value, let us say suppose I take minus 3, because that is between minus infinity to minus 5 by 2. If I substitute minus 3, I got numerator as 2 into minus 3 plus 5, which is minus 1. So, numerator is negative. If I take minus 3, in the denominator I have 4 into minus 3 minus 12 plus 7 that is minus 5. That is also negative only. So, how can I can write it as minus of 2x plus 5 divided by minus of 4x plus 7 because the modulus will modulus of x is minus of x if x is less than 0. Here we see that 2x plus 5 is less than 0. So, this is equal to greater than or equal to 1. If I go to the next win, next interval that is minus 5 by 2, 2 minus 7 by 4, I know that I am crossing minus 5 by 2 that means numerator is positive. Coming to the denominator, let us take a value minus 5 by 2 is minus 2.5, minus 1.75, can I take minus 2? If I substitute minus 2 in denominator, 4x plus 7, 4 into minus 2 plus 7, minus 1, that means it is negative. So, I have to put minus of 4x plus 7 less than or equal to 1. When I take the third interval, where it is greater than minus 7 by 4, we know both numerator and denominator, both of them are positive. So, it will be 2x plus 5 divided by 4x plus 7 greater than or equal to 1. Now, what we will do? We will try to get the linear inequation by simplifying this. So, we know that the first one and the third one will give you the same inequation because minus minus will cancel. It will be the same. So, we will work on 1 and 2. Then, we will try to put the number line and according to the value of x interval we have taken, we will see what is the solution. So, let us go ahead and do that now. The first thing what I will do, I will cut minus and minus. Can I write down 2x plus 5 
minus or can I say 2x plus 5 divided by 4x plus 7 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. If you simplify that, we will have, we can erase that afterwards. So, 2x plus 5 minus 4x minus 7 divided by 4x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. Once we got it to that side, greater than or equal to 0. That is nothing but minus of 2 into x plus 1 because 2x minus 4x is minus 2x. 5 minus 7 is minus 2 divided by 4x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. That can be also written as 2 into x plus 1 divided by 4 into 4x plus 7 less than or equal to 0. So, this is the condition for x less than minus 5 by 2. So, what we have done? We have taken the minus to the left side. We have simplified that. We got this particular equation. Now, we know it is the same for the third interval also. So, I can write down 2 into x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 7 less than or equal to 0. Now, let us focus on the one in the middle that is this guy. Let us focus on this, get that, then we will write down, then we will put the number line and try to solve it using the wavy curve mother. Okay, fine. So, what will happen now? This minus can I shift to the this minus can I shift it to top? I can say minus of 2x plus 5 divided by 4x plus 7 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. If I simplify, I will have minus 2x minus 5 minus 4x minus 7 divided by 4x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. That is nothing but equal to minus of 6 into x plus 2 divided by 4x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. We can also simplify that. We can say that is nothing but equal to 6 into x plus 2 divided by 4x plus 7 less than or equal to 0. So, let us go ahead and write that. So, once we got all our three inequations, now we can go ahead with the number line plot the number line for each one of them according to the whatever the data we have, we should be able to solve this. So, let us go ahead and do that. So, I have drawn three number lines minus infinity to infinity. For the first one, what is the equation we have? 2 into x plus 1 divided by 4 into x plus 7 less than or equal to 0. So, let us first put down our critical points here. Critical points are minus 1 and minus 7 by 4. Let me put those points minus 1 and minus 7 by 4. So, minus 7 by 4 is here and minus 1 will coming will be coming somewhere there. And remember this interval is for less than or equal to minus 5 by 2. That is for the first interval, right? So, this is for x less than minus 5 by 2. That is where we want to. In that interval only, we are interested what values we have. So, first we will try to put x equal to 1 here. It will become 2. Everything is positive because everything is positive. So, it will be positive. That means, we know that we know that in this particular interval minus 1 to infinity this value is positive, but what we want is negative. So, this is not needed. This is needed. This is not needed. One, This everything is not needed. What is this interval actually? Minus infinity to minus 5 by 2. So, the critical points we have for this are minus 7 by 4 and minus 1. In this interval, it is wrong. In this interval, it is correct. In this whole interval from minus infinity to minus 7 by 4, this is wrong. But we are interested only for the part minus infinity to minus 5 by 2, where it is x values are not existing. That means, this first particular number line is not giving me any values. Let me repeat that again. 
So the critical points are minus 1 and minus 7 by 4. We took a value, suppose we took 1, we found out that this is negative, that means this is positive. If that is positive, then the other interval is negative. Minus 5 by 2 is not a critical point, it's basically the interval up to which we have taken, that's why we have taken it. Now what I know by that, I am interested only for this particular x less than minus 5 by 2 only. So what it will become now is, we can just go ahead and erase this part because we are only interested in x less than minus 5 by 2 and we just now learned that here this is negative so we, we are not getting any values from there now let's go to the next number line the next number line is com related to this where the interval is between minus 5 by 2 and minus 7 by 4 so, what are the critical points here? We have critical points are minus 7 by 4 and minus 2. So, let me plot the points. We have interval is between minus 5 by 2, 2 to minus 7 by 4 and the critical points are minus 2, minus 7 by 4. So, minus 2 will be coming here. So, the intervals are so, one is minus infinity to minus 2, another one is minus 2 to minus 7 by 4, then minus 7 by 4 to infinity, but we are interested only in this particular interval for this particular number line. Okay. Now, let us go ahead and substitute value of 1. What will happen if I substitute value of 1? I see that minus 7 by 4 to infinity is, you have to be, it has to be less than 0. But what we have here, what we have here is greater than 0. So, this interval is wrong. This interval is wrong. That means, this interval is correct. That means, this interval is wrong. What we are interested actually is only minus 5 by 2 to minus 7 by 4. I, I hope you are clear with that. So, I will erase that part. I will only keep what is needed for us. We need only this part. In this interval, what is correct? I mean like what is satisfying the condition that is nothing but minus 2 to minus 7 by 4. Now, let us go to the third condition. The third condition is actually nothing but the same as the first one only. So, we know actually we can, we can go ahead and put the critical points for that. That is minus 5 by 2 is the not a critical point, it is an interval, we are just putting minus 7 by 4. Here I have minus 1 and minus 7 by 4 are critical points. You can see here minus 1 and minus 7 by 4. Now again, let us go ahead and substitute a positive value. If I substitute positive value, that means in this particular interval, I see that this is positive, that means we do not need it this is not needed that means the next interval is needed and that means the other interval is not needed but we are interested here only between minus 7 by 4 to minus infinity so can i go ahead and erase that part what i am interested is only till here i am interested is only this part minus 7 by 4 to minus infinity so now let me just erase this so that it's a little bit clear. Okay, once we are done with this, okay, fine. Now you can see the solution. So what is that we understood from this? The solution when x less than minus 5 by 2 does not exist. When x is between minus 5 by 2, 2 to minus 7 by 4, the solution is set is minus 2 to minus 7 by 4. And when x is greater than minus 7 by 4, the solution is between minus 7 by 4 to minus 1. So, let us go ahead and let us go ahead and combine all these intervals. So, I will have minus 2 to minus 7 by 4. If I substitute minus 2, what will happen? It will be nothing but greater than or equal to 1. So, I can I can include the boundaries, then union that, 
remember minus 7 by 4 you cannot because that will undefined the function the function will not be defined there so union I can also say again next starting with minus 7 by 4 which is not included and I have to go to minus 1 minus 2 to minus 7 by 4 is coming from here minus 7 by 4 to minus 1 is coming from here but minus 1 is allowed so I can write down or simply I can also say minus 2 to minus 1 minus of only that particular point minus 7 by 4 because when it is minus 7 by 4 the function is not defined so you can see that the curve will be going in that direction forever and they will never meet and again it will come back so the so 2x plus 5 by 4x plus 7 modulus greater than or equal to 1 it is only in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 now let me show you how this looks like in the graph because it's not a problem from any from any textbook we just created the problem so that we can explore so let me show you the graph so let's look at the graph of this now absolute value of 2x plus 5 divided by absolute value of 4x plus 7 the graph looks like this so we, we have to find out where it is greater than or equal to 1 you can see that this is minus 2 and the other one this is minus 1 so between minus 2 and minus 1 it is greater than or equal to 1 but at the same time in between at minus 7 by 4 the value is not defined that's why you can see that the the you can see that the values are going up and again they are coming down so they won't be touching either each other there will be a void there at x equal to minus 7 by 4 so you can see very clearly that between minus 2 and minus 1 absolute value of this particular function is greater than or equal to 1 so so that is the solution for this so this will be the last example maybe a couple of couple more we will do then we will be moving to the next topic thanks for your time and support bye for now please do let me know your feedback